Welcome to the Grasshopper Ladybug tutorial part 2. The second part of the tutorial looks further into radiation rose map, setting up the sun path and running certain light hours analysis. Let's begin the session. So we are going to visualize this radiation in a different way by using radiation rows. So I'm going to turn off that preview of the radiation study. I'm going to go to number two and grab ladybug radiation rows. Drop and drop and select the selected sky matrix down to the sage selected sky matrix and connect to the context of the context and number of arrows, you can control that number of arrows and you can increase the number and decrease the number. Surface tilted angle is the same. Center point, you'll have to define the center, center point of that radiation uh, rose by dropping the point pram and go ahead and click the midpoint of the tower. Scale, you can scale up and down the radiation rose. Arrowhead scale, you can increase that and down and gradient um, which is a legend parameter you can always customize that and to run this you will need to plug that to toggle you know a boolean toggle as soon as you put that to the true you immediately see that radiation map right onto that and you can do the all sorts of things that you um, you want to do uh, by baking the mesh. You can take it out from the Rhino and to Illustrator. So I'm going to turn off this preview and move on to next sunlight hours analysis. Go ahead and drag and drop that under number three. And you'll still have to set up the north point and geometry. We already have got that set up. So go ahead and click that tower. You'll have to bring the context down to the context. Again, define the grid size. I'm going to size at that to um, five meter. And you'll have to offset that from the base, which is exactly the same as what I got for the uh, solar radiation study. Orientation study, I'm um, going to use exactly the same thing as we already got. Um, but under the um, number five, you still get that uh, orientation study parameter. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the uh, default of that, uh, of the component. So in order to run the sum vector, you will need to go and grab the sum path. So under the sum path, you can see that there is a sum vectors and go ahead, connect these two. Um, to make it run, you will need that EPW uh, weather files. As you can see, there are a number of data you need to extract that uh, from the weather data. So here is the one that I already set up previously. You know where to get it under number number zero. You can do the um, you can go and grab the import weather data. So go ahead and click the um, EPW to EPW, and you can you can locate those to the right uh, component input. So there are a number of other interesting things such as dry bulb temperature, dew point, wind speed, wind direction. It will come all later when you do other analysis. So I'm going to connect the location to location. And as soon as you put the location, it will generate that um, sun path. Uh, and, and then you can, you can see where the sun is located. So in order to um, get that rather a specific day and time, um, you can actually, uh, you can actually um, have that in a number of places. And you set the hours from 0 to 24, day from 1 to 31, month from 1 to 12. And you can also set the time step, either be um, you know, every hour from 0 to, you know, so Jan 1st of Jan January to um, 31st of December. Otherwise, you can always use the analysis period, which will, um, you know, supersede all that hour, day, and month. So I normally use the um, analysis period instead of one specific time of the day of the year. Obviously, you can slide it up and down to, in order to get the specific uh, sun path or the um, solar analysis. Uh, you, you can always test it out by move moving up and down of the slide and you can actually see you know it depends on the location of your um, study 
you can quickly um, visualize where the sun is located in relation to the site and the building. So this does help when you when you do your building study. I'm going to go ahead and control this all to the right place where the building will have that uh, sun directly faced to the um, west side of the building. Which will be um, 17, which is 5 o'clock in June the 13th. So that will give me a quite nice result. So I'm going to move in and create that. You can always customize it, customize the legend parameter. And you will need a uh, Boolean toggle to run this uh, hours analysis. And you can always connect that to uh, run it as well, because when you run the, um, the simulation, you'll get to decide whether you, you run it in parallel of your CPU. Um, so this uh, shows you a one static day of the time analysis. Uh, it's rather very clear and is showing the hours of you know, the ex sunlight exposure on the surface. It's quite nicely generated. And if you put that to a period, analysis period again like this will give you a multiple you know obviously it runs throughout the whole day and whole year so it's, it's probably going to give you a much larger quantum of the hours of the sunlight starting from you know all of the angles and you hardly see the um, blue on the surface of the of the massing because it's run from the um, January to December. And you can uh, obviously set the other parameters to to way that you like. Again, the legend parameter is all changeable. And as the output, you can get everything quite in a reasonable uh, level of detail. OK, that's it for today. Uh, next time, I'm going to show you how to create a wind analysis and run a number of other simulation based on the same context and the uh, building. See you next time. Thank you.